Hello friends. I am Dr. Gurneet Singh Sahani. Let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I am an MS MCH neuro and spine surgeon. After attaining the first position in my university examination, I joined as an assistant professor in St. John's Institute of Health Sciences where I had an exposure to a variety of neurosurgical patients. Then working there for few years, I got the bright bright opportunity to work in rural India where I was able to change my outlook towards neurosurgery. and i got an award as the most promising neurosurgeon for whatever work i was able to offer presently i am working as a consultant neuro and spine surgeon in fortis hospital mumbai today i would be briefing you about spinal cord tumors spinal cord tumors are an important part of the central nervous system tumors comprising of about 0.7% of 1 lakh population and uh, throughout the world these tumors are mainly classified according to it being benign that is non cancerous and malignant that is cancerous tumors the non malignant or the benign tumors comprise about 70% of the total spinal cord tumors they are also classified according to the site of origin of the tumor which would be extra dural that means outside the covering of the spinal cord intra dural extra medullary that means in between the the outer layer and the cord parenchyma and intra medullary that means arising from the spinal cord parenchyma the symptoms of these tumors also depends upon the site the extra dural tumor will cause severe pain to the patient which will be more on moving and also at night which are called night cries the intra dural extra medullary tumors will have shooting pain along the dermatome associated with weakness the intra medullary tumors will have less pain as compared to the other two but they will have more weakness mostly bilateral on both sides along with urinary incontinence The diagnosis of these tumors are mainly done by an MRI with contrast which will show we surgeons the exact size of the tumor the site and the plane in which we can remove the tumor The main treatment of these tumors is microsurgical excision along with intraoperative neuromonitoring which will help us to save as much as the normal tissue as possible radiotherapy is only done for few intramedullary tumors which are inoperable and malignant now i would show you some of the cases of spinal cord tumors that we have dealt in our hospital the first case is 11 years old child who had come with an intramedullary spinal cord tumor at the craniovertebral junction having weakness of all four limbs and was unable to walk after a microsurgical complete excision of the tumor the patient showed good recovery and patient was able to walk after that the second case was a 5 year old iranian child who had come with a bent spine or scoliosis on evaluation we found out found out that there is a large tumor which was intramedullary placed from the cervical to the lumbar region a complete surgical excision of this tumor was done under neuromonitoring guidance and the patient showed good recovery the third case was a 50 years old sudanese lady who had come with pain on the right side on the right lower limb with weakness in the hip unable for her to walk on mri we found that there is an intra dural extra medullary tumor which was removed completely microsurgically patient was good after that and was able to walk so to conclude spinal cord tumors are curable if it if it is dealt in the right time 
and in the right manner so for any queries regarding the spinal cord tumors and the management of the same please feel free to contact us thank you 